Hello, welcome to the DMV Practice Written Test. I'm Suzanne. And I'm Thomas. This test is brought to you by Colton Public Library's Advanced to Literacy. Disclaimer, this is only a practice test. The number of test questions and percentages of correct answers to pass vary by age of the test taker. Valid California driver exams must be taken at the DMV. For more information about the California driver's exam, please call 1-800-777-0133. Before we start, get a paper and pencil to take this test. We will show you a question, give the correct answer, and then tell you where in the California DMV Handbook 2019 edition to find the explanation. Good luck! Question one. You must notify the DMV within five days if you A. Are cited for a traffic violation B. Sell or transfer your vehicle C. Paint your vehicle a different color The correct answer is sell or transfer your vehicle. The answer can be found on page 113 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. It states, when you sell or transfer a vehicle, report it to the DMV within five days. Question two. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a blood alcohol concentration that is A, 0.08%, eight hundredths of 1%, B, 0.10%, one tenth of 1%, or C, 0.05%, five hundredths of 1%. The correct answer is A, 0.08%, percent eight hundredths of 1%. The answer can be found on page 102 of the California DMV Handbook. It is illegal for any person to operate a vehicle with a blood alcohol content of 0.08% or higher if the person is 21 years old or older. Question three, unless prohibited by a sign, you may legally make a U-turn, A, at an intersection with a green light, B, at an intersection on a one-way street, C, in front of a fire station. The correct answer is A, at an intersection with a green light. The answer can be found on page 53 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. A U-turn is turning your vehicle around in the street to look to go back the way you came. Turn signal and use the far left lane or the center left turn lane. You may make a legal U-turn at an intersection on a green traffic signal light or green arrow unless a no U-turn sign is posted. Question four, weaving in and out of freeway lanes during heavy traffic. A, improves traffic flow by creating space for others to merge. B, causes further traffic congestion by slowing down other vehicles. C, increases fuel efficiency. The correct answer is B, causes further traffic congestion by slowing down other vehicles. The answer can be found on page 83 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Question five, which child requires a child passenger restraint system? A, a six-year-old who is four feet 10 inches tall, B, a seven-year-old who is four feet seven inches tall, or C, an eight-year-old who is four feet nine inches tall? The correct answer is B, a seven-year-old who is four feet seven inches tall. The answer can be found 
on pages 26 and 27 of the California DMD Handbook, 2019. Children under eight years old or who are less than four feet nine inches tall must be properly secured in federally approved child passenger restraint systems. You may legally turn right on a solid red light. A, only after slowing down and checking traffic. B, only after stopping unless otherwise posted. C, under no circumstances. The correct answer is B, only after stopping unless otherwise posted. The answer can be found on page 29 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. A red traffic signal light means stop. You can make a right turn against a red traffic signal light after you stop. Question seven. The following sign means A, less space between the lanes ahead. B, the highway will be divided ahead. C, the right lane will end ahead. The correct answer is C, the right lane will end ahead. The answer can be found on page 33 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Question eight. When sharing the road with a light rail vehicle, you A, may not drive in the lane next to the light rail vehicle. B, should monitor all traffic signals closely because light rail vehicles can interrupt traffic signals. C, may turn in front of an approaching light rail vehicle at an uncontrolled intersection. The correct answer is B should monitor all traffic signals closely because light rail vehicles can interrupt traffic signals. The answer can be found on page 73 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Light rail vehicles can interrupt traffic signal lights. Do not proceed until the traffic signal light indicates you may proceed. Question nine. When should you use headlights? A, one hour before sunset until one hour after sunrise. B, anytime you can't see at least two miles of road. C, anytime you have trouble seeing others or being seen. The correct answer is C, anytime you have trouble seeing others or being seen. The answer can be found on page 63 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. If weather conditions require you to use your windshield wipers, you are required to turn on your low beam headlights. Anytime conditions, clouds, rain, snow, dust, smoke, fog, etc. prevent you from seeing other vehicles. 10. If it starts to rain on a hot day, the road is most slippery. A for the first few minutes, B, after it has been raining for a few hours, C, after it has stopped raining. The correct answer is A, for the first few minutes. The answer can be found on page 85 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Slow down at the first sign of rain, especially after a dry spell. This is when many roads are the most slippery because oil and dust have not washed away. 11, smoking inside a vehicle when a person younger than 18 is present is A, legal if it is your child, B, illegal at all times, C, not restricted by law. The correct answer is B, illegal at all times. The answer can be found on page 106 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Do not smoke at any time when a minor is in the vehicle. You can be fined up to $100. Question 12. You should not pass another vehicle. A, when someone is likely to enter or cross the road. B, on a multi-lane 
one-way street. C, when a broken yellow line is on the far left side of your lane. The correct answer is when someone is likely to enter or cross the road. The answer can be found on page 47 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Passing other vehicles at crossroads, railroad crossings, and shopping center entrances is dangerous. 13. Driving slowly in front of a traffic in the far left fast lane of any freeway. A. Can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. B. Cannot result in a traffic violation. C. Saves lives by causing others to slow down too. The correct answer is A can frustrate other drivers and make them angry. The answer can be found on page 83 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Do not drive slowly in the left or fast lane. 14. You are on a two-way street with two lanes in each direction. To turn left, start the turn in A, any lane open to you for traffic in your direction. B, the left lane for traffic in your direction. C, the right lane for traffic in your direction. The correct answer is B, the left lane for traffic in your direction. The answer can be found on page 52 of the California DMV Handbook. Left turn from a two-way street Start the turn in the left lane closest to the middle of the street. Question 15. The maximum speed limit for driving ideal driving conditions is A. The speed of other vehicles traveling in your direction. B. The posted speed limit for the road or freeway you are using. C. Whatever speed you feel is safe for you and your vehicle. The correct answer is B, the posted speed limit for the road or freeway you are using. The answer can be found on page 37 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. California's basic speed law means that you may never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. Regardless of the posted speed limit, your speed should depend on the number and speed of other vehicles, whether the road surface is smooth, rough, graveled, wet, dry, right, or narrow, bicyclists or pedestrians crossing the roadway, and the weather. Question 16. There are five vehicles following closely behind you on a road with one lane in your direction. When you see this white sign, you should A, drive to the right edge of your lane, but keep moving. B, slow down and signal the other drivers to pass you. C, drive to the side of the road in a designated area. The correct answer is C, drive to the side of the road in the designated area. The answer can be found on page 49 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Special turnout areas are sometimes marked on two-lane roads. When driving a vehicle with airbags, you are safest when seated at least 10 inches away from the steering wheel, B, within six and a half inches of the steering wheel, C, with your head positioned directly above the steering wheel. The correct answer is A, at least 10 inches away from the steering wheel. The answer can be found on page 27 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Ride at least 10 inches measured from the center of the steering wheel to your breastbone from the airbag cover if you can do this while maintaining full control of the vehicle. 18. You are being chased by a police vehicle with its lights and sirens activated. You ignore the warnings to stop and speed away. 
during the chase, a person is seriously injured. You are subject to A. Imprisonment in a state prison for up to seven years. B. A fine of not less than $1,000. C. Attending an anger management class. The correct answer is A. Imprisonment in a state prison for up to seven years. The answer can be found on page 110 of the California DMV Handbook. Imprisonment in a state prison for three, five, or seven years, or in a county jail for not more than one year for evading a peace officer. Question 19. If you cannot stop safely at a yellow traffic light, you should A. Stop your vehicle before entering the intersection anyway. B. Enter the intersection cautiously and continue across. C. Stop your vehicle in the intersection and back up carefully. The correct answer is B. Enter the intersection cautiously and continue to cross. The answer can be found on page 29 of the DMV Handbook 2019. Traffic controls, traffic signal lights, solid yellow. The yellow traffic signal light means caution. The red traffic signal light is about to appear. When you see the yellow traffic signal light, stop if you can do so safely. If you cannot stop safely, cross the intersection cautiously. Question 20. If the road is wet from heavy rain, you should A. Use the two second following distance rule. B. Drive one car length behind the car ahead. C. Increase the distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead. The correct answer is C. Increase the distance between your vehicle and vehicle ahead. Colton Library is known. By slowing your speed, you can increase the distance between vehicles. On page 85 of the California DMV Handbook 2018, Driving Hazards, Water on the Road. Slow down when there's a lot of water on the road. In a heavy rain at speeds of 50 miles per hour or more, your tires can lose all contact with the road and then your vehicle will be riding on water or hydroplaning. A slight change of direction, applying the brakes, or a gust of wind could throw your vehicle into a skid. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, slow down gradually. Do not apply the brakes. Slippery roads. Slow down at the first sight of rain, especially after a dry spell. This is when many roads are the most slippery because oil and dust have not washed away. A slippery road will not give your tires the grip they need. Drive more slowly than you would on a dry road. Adjust your speed as follows. Wet road. Go five to 10 miles per hour slower. Packed snow. Reduce your speed by half. Ice. Slow to a crawl. Question 21. You must yield to a pedestrian using a white cane or guide dog, A, only when the guide dog is leading the person across the street, B, only when the pedestrian is obeying traffic controls, or C, at all times. The correct answer is C, at all times. The answer can be found on page 80 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Pedestrians who are blind. Pedestrians using guide dogs or white canes with or without a red tip must be given the right of way at all times. These pedestrians are partially or totally blind. When these pedestrians are in your vicinity, be especially careful when turning corners or backing up, particularly if you're driving a quiet hybrid vehicle. These signs mean A. Railroad crossing is controlled continue at your regular speed. B, look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. Or C, stop at the railroad tracks and wait for a signal before crossing. The correct answer is B, look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. The answer can be found on page 31 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. A yellow and black circular sign or an X-shaped sign indicates that you are approaching a railroad crossing. You must look, listen, slow down, and prepare to stop if necessary.
Let any trains pass before you proceed. Many railroad crossings will also have a blue and white sign to indicate what to do if there's an emergency on or near the tracks, or if your vehicle has stalled on the tracks. 23. Driving along the right rear side of another vehicle is A. Dangerous because you are probably in one of the vehicle's blind spots. B. A good defensive driving technique to avoid the driver's blind spots. Or C. A good way to maintain a space cushion on your left side. The correct answer is A. Dangerous because you are probably in one of the vehicle's blind spots. The answer can be found on page 84 of the California Driver Handbook 2019. Special Driving Situations Keep your car visible. The driver's blind spots are shown in the graphic on page 70. If you look only in your mirrors, you cannot see the vehicles in these blind spots. Turn your head to see if a vehicle is in one of these blind spots. Do not linger in another driver's blind spot. As soon as you can, drop back or pass the vehicle. Darker gray areas represent the truck's blind spots. Question 24. Which statement is true about motorists and motorcyclists? A. Motorcyclists are not allowed to drive faster than other traffic during congested road conditions. B. Motorcyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as other motorists. C. Motorcycles are heavier than other vehicles and less affected by wind and rain. The correct answer is B. Motorcyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as other motorists. The answer can be found on page 75 of the California Driver Handbook 2019. Motorcycles. Motorcyclists have the same rights and responsibilities as automobile drivers. While everyone must follow the same traffic laws, motorcyclists face additional dangers because motorcycles require exceptional handling ability and are harder to see. Therefore, many motorcycles keep their headlights on at all times, even during daylight hours. Question 25. If your cell phone rings while you are driving and you do not have a hands-free device, you should A. Answer the call because it may be an emergency B. Let the call go to voicemail or C. Check the incoming number before answering the call. The correct answer is B. Let the call go to voicemail. The answer can be found on page 64 of the California Driver Handbook 2019. Text messaging and cell phones. It is illegal to drive a motor vehicle while using a cell phone or an electronic wireless communication device to write, send, or read text messages, instant messages, and emails unless you are 18 years old or older and using a cell phone or an electronic wireless communications device designed and configured to allow voice and hands-free option to dictate, send, or listen to text-based communications when operating a vehicle. Although hands-free devices are permitted, except for minors, drivers should minimize distractions to focus on safe driving practices. Call for help in emergencies only. If your cell phone rings, do not answer it. Let the call go to voicemail if you have this feature. If you must make a call, pull safely off the road before making the call. Keep telephone conversations short or, if possible, have a passenger make the call. Question 26. You must carefully watch for bicycles in the traffic lanes because they A. Must ride facing oncoming traffic B. Could be hidden in your blind spots C. Usually have the right of way And the correct answer is B. Could be hidden in your blind spots The answer can be found on page 78 of the California Driver's Handbook 2019. Make a visual check for bicyclists when changing lanes or entering traffic. Bicycles are small and may be hidden in a vehicle's blind spot. Question 27. You are crossing an intersection and an emergency vehicle is approaching with a siren and flashing lights. You should A. Stop on the intersection immediately until it passes. B. Pull to the right of the intersection and stop. C. Continue through the intersection, pull to the right, stop. 
And the correct answer is C. Continue through the intersection, pull to the right, stop. Question 28. Orange colored road signs warn you of A. School zone ahead B. A traffic signal ahead or C. Highway construction and maintenance signs. The correct answer is C. Highway construction and maintenance signs. The answer can be found on page 32 of the California Driver Handbook. When driving in the far right lane of a freeway, you A. Should expect merging traffic at on-ramps B. Must be driving slower than other traffic C. Must give the right of way to merging traffic The correct answer is A. Should expect merging traffic at on-ramps The answer can be found on page 43 of the California DMV Handbook 2019. Watch for hazards. Look beyond the vehicle ahead of you. Do not develop the fixed stare. Check your rear view mirrors so you know the position of the vehicles around you. On the freeway, be ready for changes in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on-ramps and interchanges. Be prepared for rapid changes in the road conditions and traffic flow. Know which lanes are clear so you can use them if necessary. Question 30. This yellow sign means A. Medical services ahead B. There is a T intersection ahead or C. Another road crosses yours ahead. The correct answer is C. Another road crosses yours ahead. The answer can be found on page 33 of the California Driver's Handbook 2019. Crossroad. Question 31. Which of the following is true about the use of turn signals? A. You should never use both electric and hand signals. B. If you signal for a lane change, other drivers must let you in. Or C. You must always signal for lane changes. The correct answer is C. You must always signal for lane changes. The answer can be found on page 60 of the California Driver Handbook 2019. Safe driving practices. Signaling. Always signal when turning left or right, changing lanes, slowing down, or stopping. Signaling lets other drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians know your intentions. Number 32. In California, anyone who drives a motor vehicle consents to take a chemical test for the alcohol content of his or her blood, breath, or urine. A. Only if asked by law enforcement. B. Only if you have been drinking alcohol. Or C. Only if a collision has occurred. The correct answer is A. If asked by law enforcement. The answer can be found on page 102 of the California Driver Handbook 2019, admin per se. When you drive in California, you can send to have your breath, blood, or under certain circumstances, urine, tested if you are arrested for DUI of alcohol, drugs, or a combination of both. If arrested, the officer may take your driver's license, issue you a temporary driver's license for 30 days, and give you an order of suspension. You may request a DMV administrative hearing within 10 days. The arresting officer may require you to submit either a breath or blood test. You do not have the right to consult with the lawyer before selecting or completing a test. If your blood alcohol content is 0.08% or higher, the peace officer may arrest you. If the officer reasonably believes you are under the combined influence of alcohol and drugs, you have already submitted to the preliminary alcohol screening PAS, and or breath test. You may still be required to submit to a blood or urine test because the breath test does not detect the presence of drugs. Question 33. You are entering a freeway. You should check traffic by A. Looking over your shoulder B. Using the inside and outside mirrors only or C. Checking all mirrors and turning your head. The correct answer is C checking all mirrors and turning your head. The answer can be found 
On page 43 of the California Driver's Handbook 2019, watch for hazards. Look beyond the vehicle ahead of you. Do not develop a fixed stare. Check your rearview mirror so that you know the position of vehicles near you. On the freeway, be ready for changes in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on-ramp and interchanges. Be prepared for rapid changes in road conditions and traffic flow. Know which lanes are clear so you can use them if necessary. Question 34. Which of the following is true about roadways on bridges and overpasses in cold, wet weather? A. They tend to freeze before the rest of the road does. B. They do not freeze because they are made of concrete. Or C. They tend to freeze after the rest of the road does. The correct answer is A. They tend to freeze before the rest of the road does. The answer can be found on page 86 of the California Driver Handbook, 2019. Some road surfaces are more slippery than others when wet and usually have warning signs posted. Here are some of the clues to help you find spot slippery roads. On cold, wet days, shade from trees or buildings can hide spots of ice. These areas freeze first and dry out last. Bridges and overpasses tend to freeze before the rest of the road does. They can hide spots of ice. If it starts to rain on a hot day, the pavement can be very slippery for the first several minutes. Heat causes oil in the asphalt to come to the surface. The oil can make the road slippery until the rain washes the oil off the surface of the road. You should always drive slower than other traffic. A. No, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. B. Yes, it's a good defensive driving technique. Or C, yes, it is always safer than driving faster. The correct answer is A, no, you can block traffic when you drive too slowly. The answer can be found on page 37 of the California Driver Handbook 2019. Reduced speeds, heavy traffic or bad weather. You must drive slower when there is heavy traffic or bad weather. However, if you block the normal and reasonable movement of traffic by driving too slowly, you may be sighted. If you choose to drive slower than other traffic, do not drive in the number one lane, the fast lane. Refer to the choosing a lane section on page 47. When another driver is close right behind you and wishes to drive faster, you should move to the right. Question 36. You must stop at an intersection ahead. Just before the intersection, you have to cross railroad tracks. You should stop before you cross the railroad tracks when... A. You don't have room to completely cross the tracks. B. Crossing is located in a city or town with frequent train traffic. Or C. Transport two or more children in a passenger vehicle. The correct answer is... You don't have room to completely cross the tracks. The answer can be found... On page 40 of the California Driver Handbook 2019, at railroad or train crossings, look in both directions and listen for trains. Many crossings have multiple tracks, so be ready to stop before crossing if necessary. Cross railroad tracks only at designated crossings and only when it is safe to do so. Expect a train on any track at any time traveling in either direction. If you need to stop after crossing the tracks, wait until you can completely cross the tracks before proceeding. Make sure your vehicle clears the tracks before you stop. Never stop on the railroad tracks. If you are on the tracks, you risk injury or death. Thank you again for participating in today's practice test. Once again, as a disclaimer, this is only a practice test. The number of test questions and percentages of correct answers to pass vary by age of the test taker. Valid California driver exams must be taken at the DMV. For more information about the California driver's exam, please call 1-800-777-0133. Once again, that's 1-800-777-0133. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.